It's the last of our P&O Iona Diaries today. We're crying. The sky's crying. Even this horse is crying, as it's nearly time to go home. But never fear, we've got beautiful Bruges to explore today. And have we saved the best till last? If you don't know us, I'm Rachel, he's Wills, and we are Postcard and a Pint. And we've also been stupid enough to mess up the audio on the GoPro. So none of our talking bits from that camera have sound. Like this. Hmm, we'll have to get inventive here. So let's say today's welcome went something like this. Morning! Did that breakfast make you fart? Mm. I thought so. Let's go. Yep. That wasn't what we said at all, but since we've been stupid enough to manage to not connect the sound on the GoPro, we might as well have some fun. So how to get from Zabrugga to Bruges yourself? Firstly, leave the ship and catch the free shuttle to the port entrance. We'd book through Get My Guide, as we've always found them good. Leave the main building and look to your left, and it's there! How very simple. The buses run until your ship departs. It was €25 Euros each. You can also book through via tour. Now who sorted the tickets? Yes, I sorted them. I farted. Wills, really? Sorry. It's then about a 25 minute ride into Bruges where you're dropped off. Do remember to take a picture of the return times. You'll find these on the front of the bus. And as you can see, to top the week off, it's raining again. You're dropped off at a location called Bargeplein. It's then an easy 15 minute walk into the city. This red bridge is a good landmark to remember for finding your way back later. It's called Bargebrug. Once you've crossed the bridge, you then turn left and cross Meanwaterbrug, or Lover's Bridge. This small rectangular lake is known as the Lake of Love. Legend says you'll experience eternal love if you walk over the bridge with your partner, even if it is chucking it down. Isn't that right, kids? At the end of the lake, bear right. Past this fella, then you'll start to enter the old city. Bruges has many swans on its canals. The keeping of swans was seen as a symbol of wealth and prestige in the 15th century, and they're still here today. Bruges is chocolate box pretty, and is incredibly famous for its chocolate. We'll get some of that later. Soft lad, of course, had found Christmas, and at this point I lost him as he wandered into a bakery. I was on the Google Maps, so didn't notice he'd gone. Now a question, Wills. How was your day in Bruges so far? It's a bit wet. Uh, good lad. Now leave Christmas, macaroons, waffles on sticks and chocolate bunnies alone. And let's get into Belgium's other finest food. Beer. We'll be buying some of that later. Now at this point, don't put Centre of Bruges into your Google Maps like I did. What you want to put is marked. We wandered around aimlessly, thinking Bruges was a bit of a disappointment. This is what we said. We're not doing very well in Bruges at the moment, pouring down with rain, and we don't know where we are. Not sure what I'm saying here, but the long and short of it is, we're lost and need to go and find a bar my cousins recommended. Let's go. I think I did well there. The bar in question is Degas. As it says on their website, cliches about hidden gems aside, there are hidden gems and then there are true hidden gems. Degar is a true hidden gem. So putting that bar into maps, in a couple of minutes, we'd found this. One of the most beautiful squares we've ever seen. Dominated by the belfry at 83 metres high, this is a square not to be missed. It's filled with cafes and restaurants, and even on a dismal day like today, you can't fail to be impressed by the stunning architecture before you. Just off the square is a famous Christmas shop. Can you believe it's opening tomorrow when we'll be in Southampton? Thanks to the excellent directions from my cousins, we'd found the bar in question. Now, where are you? We finally found the place we were looking for. A bar recommended by my cousins. Cheers, Stephen and Claire. So we'll be back later, hopefully if it's open. Yep, it was only 10.30 a.m., too early for a beer, and especially a Belgian one. We went back to the market square and sought out a hot chocolate. Grand Café Central, facing the Belfry, was an excellent call. How's that hot chocolate? Excellent! And Will's? You can't take him anywhere. Messy and my Valentine. We'd quite fancied taking a canal tour in Bruges. Did the weather put us off? That was a lovely hot chocolate. It's raining, but we've just booked a boat ride. Ooh. Of course it didn't. For 15 euros each, we'd gotten a ticket and were on the next boat. We got our tickets from a kiosk on Wallerstraat, a couple of streets behind the Belfry. They must be well used to rain, as our guide had a chamois to wipe down all the seats. And then we were off. 
The architecture in Bruges dates from the 12th century, and a lot of it is in brick Gothic style. It really is a fairy tale city. One interesting thing we learnt on this tour was how the red colour on some of the buildings was achieved. The middle class would mix oxblood with the paint to get this precise red colour. But it was Brolly's out once again. It's absolutely belted it down. We still really enjoyed it though, and it's made us determined to come back to Bruges again one day, hopefully in better weather. 30 minutes later, we were back. Surely it's pint time now. Bruges certainly is one of the best cities in the world for beer. It currently has three working breweries, but we're not visiting any of those today. And before we taste the city's finest, we're going to buy some. Isn't that right, Wills? Now we're going to be going to the bottle shop, which is a shop of booze. And bottles? The bottle shop is such a cool shop. It has around 600 Belgian beers and sells these alongside the steins and glassware. We loved this goblet, so got that beer. Of course, Soft Lad wanted the Christmas beers. We also picked up a few gifts and then checked out. Was that fun, Wills? Now it was time to re-find the cousin recommended bar to sample some of Belgium's finest. And you can stop looking in the Christmas shop window. It opens tomorrow when you'll be in Southampton. Let's go down this very cute little alleyway Drown your sorrows in this delightful beer haven, where we believe they serve cheese with your beer. Lovely! We're back to Dugar. We're going in. We certainly are. This place is such a hidden gem, so much so that my cousin had provided not only an address, but a what three words, as it's so tucked away. Cheers, Steve and Claire. And, as they'd said, the beer came with cheese. Cheers, lad! And you get that cheese down your rage. Good girl. Thoughts so far, Wills? We are in Degas, and it is beautiful. You have to come check this place out if you have any Bruges. This building dates back to the 1700s, and I certainly wouldn't like to be navigating these stairs after a few of the house specials. It is stunning, though. And then we made the mistake of having another beer. Do you two know how strong that stuff is? Well, we have to buy a glass. And some beer. Can we enjoy this at home? Yes, Santa. Be careful when that fresh air hits you. Oh, dear. We just asked the chap in there how you pronounce it. Now, I'm too drunk after two of those beers to say it, but the Harig, and we thought it was Degar or Degare, which in French is the station in another language is the garage, but it's not. It's the small alley. It took a good hour for those beers to wear off, and as a treat for Wills, I'd found an open Christmas shop online. So let's visit a Christmas shop slightly drunk. We found the White Pelican Christmas shop. Yay! Now he's happy enough when sober, but pop two 11% beers in him and he's like a kid, well, in a Christmas shop. What did you buy? Only 10 months to go, lad. As has been the way on this trip, when it's time to return to the ship, the sun comes out. Isn't that right, Mr. Horse? Hmm, <laughs> yes. You too sober yet? Nope. Next, it was time to buy some Belgian chocolates. They really are incredible, and it was so difficult to only select six. After all that beer, let's use maps to find the bus. Gotta love Google Maps. Yep, and after a wee stop in McDonald's, which incidentally costs a euro, so make sure you've got some cash on you, we made our way back to the bus. What a great day we'd had in Bruges, and what a beautiful city. There's another for our list of cities to return to. In no time at all, we were back at the cruise terminal and back on Iona, in the sunshine. Typical, isn't it? Last day, sun comes out, blue skies. Don't knock it! First time in an infinity pool on deck eight. Ooh. Again, we had it all to ourselves and enjoyed watching the ships sailing in and out of Zeebrugge. It was the perfect end to the perfect day. What will this evening bring? Count backwards. Now it is six and thirty. That means it is time for the show. Yes, we'd stumbled oh, into the kids' magic show. Because my nose is tiny, delicate. Dainty and barely noticeable, am I right? Thank God for wine. No. The kids loved him, oh, though. Thanks a lot, right, anyway. Tonight, for our last night, we booked the Sindhu restaurant. Sindhu is a contemporary Indian restaurant, and we have to say, everything on the menu looked delicious. Mm. 
We thought it was really reasonably priced and the ambience in there was fantastic. First off, they bring you a little appetizer. Ooh, crisps. I love crisps, me. The food we had in Sindhu was hands down the best food we'd had all week. It was a thumbs up from us. The service was also excellent. We were so full, but thought we should try a dessert, just for research, of course. These were also incredible. We were so impressed with Sindhu and highly recommend it. A quick walk to burn some calories, and then it was showtime. This show is Sky's the Limit, a quick trip around the world. There was some great singing and dancing in this show, just too many airport air hostess and airplane dances. We did enjoy it, but we'd rather have seen an extra country in there and less travel. Well done, Headliners Theatre Company. We then stuck our head into Brodie's. We were really sad. Our time on Iona was coming to an end. Every day had been jam-packed and fun, yet there was still so much we hadn't experienced. We'll have to visit again. Morning! It's time to go home. Time for one last breakfast at the Keys. Gone! We'd opted for self-checkout, and our window for this was between 7.30 and 8.30. With self-checkout, you take the cases off yourself. That's it for now, Iona. It's time to go home. Self-checkout was really well organised and we were off in minutes. If you do choose the standard disembarkation, you'll find your cases here. Everything was well signposted and the taxi queue was short. Then it was back to Southampton Station, a quick coffee and we were on the train home. And apart from a near miss in Shrewsbury... Just made it. We made it! What an amazing week it had been. From boarding the beautiful Iona and enjoying all she had to offer, seeing the beautiful chocolate box houses in beautiful Bremen and the cubes and wimbles in Rotterdam and then enjoying beautiful Bruges and its stunning marketplace. It certainly had been a wonderful week. OK, so it rained. A lot. But when you've got your best friend with you, exciting places to explore and a beer to wash it down with, then life doesn't get much better than that. Right, did those Belgian beers make it home successfully? Let's find out. They certainly did, and not one smashed in the case on Yay! the way home. And I can't believe you've waited till now to try this. I know, and I'm going to open it now, so... Hasn't touched sure. a one. OK, I will carry on. It's really sad. It's our last diary vlog. Ooh. But what I will say about making these vlogs is it's like you get to go twice. Yeah. Yeah, we went and we had a fantastic week. And then each week we've been making these. He's ready now. We've been reliving them, and it's been really nice. Go on, pour. 8%. 8%. Not like the 11% I'm we've on got. the tea. I've got to go back to work. Go Ooh, on. Hang on. Pour. Okay, you carry on. I'm not carrying on. I'm waiting for you to get that beer down here. Okay. That's it. Here we go. Taste test. <laughs> this is... The only reason we bought the Waterloo one... I like that. ...is because Rachel liked the goblet, because mm. I had to buy the goblet or the glass. Yeah. Here we go. It's okay. a blonde beer. Belgium's finest. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll taste a little bit later. Oh. 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 What is it? Ooh. Fruity? It is fruity. It's a blonde beer, but it's got a bit of a sharp initial taste, but oh yeah, it's good. Okay. Yeah, like in this. The Waterloo. Triple blonde. Right, let's carry on. Bruges. Wow, what a city. As I, Hopefully we got away with our sound issues today. Nobody noticed Nobody a thing. Nobody noticed that. But we did mess up going in and didn't put the right thing in. We were really disappointed, weren't we? We were just like, oh, this isn't as well, good when as we When we got thought. there, it was pouring down with yeah. rain. Bruges was the port we were, mm. we were really looking forward to. We'd been wondering about for... Just how 10, we missed that square. 10, 20 minutes, we went, <laughs> oh, you know what? It's, it's, it's just... Yeah. Well, how disappointing. And then we walked into the square and I, and I wish... We'd have been filming Well, that. I walked before you, and I walked, I was like, it was jaw-dropping. It it's was. so beautiful. I was like, you've got to come and see this. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. And we'd love to go back, especially at Christmas yeah, time. Christmas the Christmas markets, markets. must be incredible. That's like, the best thing about Europe. Yeah. Everywhere's got Christmas shops. <laughs> it's brilliant. I believe it's a small Christmas market, but yeah, great. And that uh, Degas, however we went for beer, was... Degare. Yeah, was amazing. Wow. So was. cheers, Stephen and Claire, for yeah. that uh, heads up. That was brilliant. 
Um, and that's it, the end of our diary vlogs. But I think we should sum up a bit of the week yeah, before we'll we sign up. Yeah, we'll sum up a bit of the off. week, but we are going to do costs we're not going to do now. We're going to oh. do a video all on costs, exactly what we spent. We're going to do a video next week, yeah. which is an overview, a complete guide to the ship, mm. which will be kind of the end of the... The crew series. Uh, the crew series. And we'll leave you alone then. <laughs> but we will do some little midweeks, yeah. some little short related about the Limelight the Club, Club, about the... Whether it was show. the sh <laughs> shit sh show, whether whether the drinks package was worth it, yeah, uh, all that sort of that thing. That little tiny, tiny one. So we were quite apprehensive about doing a cold weather cruise. Mm. And as we should have been, it rained With every only three single ports. day. With only three ports, yeah. But you know what? It didn't matter. It didn't matter at all. We live in Wales. Yeah, we used to the rain. we've got a coat and a hood and we saw some absolutely great places yeah. none of them were places that were sort of up there on the list can't wait to go can't Bruce wait to probably go was. but every single place i can't actually say i don't have a favorite do you no i loved them all and, and I, i'm mm. even though i'm sure we'd have loved hamburg although mm. we didn't have a we were going to go on a tour in hamburg tour, so we? somewhere else Lundberg, yeah but i'm really glad we went to bremen yeah. or bremen every single it. port was different had something different we were also a bit apprehensive, is the Iona going to be too big for us? Yeah. And I've kind of got a new love now for big ships. I never thought I'd hear myself no, say that, ever. Very much a small ship sort of person. Yeah. But We've become less snobby now, haven't we? Less snobby at all, yeah. Less ship snobby. Mm. It was absolutely beautiful. Well, did you do have any highlights in the week? Oh... I don't know. All of the ports at Rotterdam are surprising. Yeah. I loved... I do you know I loved swimming. Yeah, that was fun, I wasn't love it? swimming outside. I love being in that infinity hot tub the last yeah. day. It was just, I love walking when we did our walk, our mile. A mile with a smile. Yeah, not every windy, single day, it? but it was just, yeah, it was fun. We love being on the ocean. So we would highly recommend a P&O. It certainly won't be our last time with P&O. Value for money, you, yeah. you, you can't argue with it. But we haven't it. done the money video yet. No, but it, it, it was <laughs> yeah. still, I mean, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. We did quite a lot, but you could go on there the and not spend much at all. The food was fantastic. Yeah. I mean, we, we did a couple of the speciality restaurants. Yeah. But even the food in the in the you know the main dining room, the main dining room was fantastic. Yeah, it was absolutely fine. I think I had so, steak about four times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It certainly won't be our last time at piano. I know we found a few little niggles, but I think you'll find a few niggles with anything, with anything, and yeah. wherever you go. So yeah, I highly recommend it. And Loved looking it. forward of it. to doing more with piano, maybe a fly cruise. And, I want to go on another cruise now? Yeah, we do. I want to go on the Caribbean? Yeah, one. yeah we say this all the time. Ooh. We're like, I don't know how people go on that many cruises. Like, I do. I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm ready to go away again now. Absolutely. So. So yeah, plenty more cruise content coming out your way, and after next week we will be somewhere. Don't know where. Yet. Don't know where, but we'll be somewhere. <laughs> Just keeps raining. We want to go somewhere with nice weather and get we'll back, back in, to Wales get somewhere. Get back into Wales anyway, somewhere. Who knows? Well, let's sum this up. If you like this video, oh yeah. If you do the subscribe thing, we've got yeah. the Patreon. If you'd yeah. like, if you comment, all of that stuff's free. Yeah. You know, and our patrons know what's coming up. Oh yeah, so because we give all our secrets, our juicy secrets, on Patreon and some extra daft videos and some extra daft videos. So there videos. you go. Yeah. All for the price of a build up. All for the price of a pint a week. I can't even how how strong is it? <laughs> Wowzers. Let's finish this before it goes horribly okay. wrong. As we say, in, in postcard and a pint. pint. Cheers to, to the, the good times. times. What's the definition of a balanced diet? I don't know. A beer in each hand. Oh.